Hey guys, welcome to another computer graphics tutorial. Today we'll be learning about composite transformation in computer graphics and this is going to be a three part series. So first we'll begin with translation composite transformation. Okay, so let's get started. First thing, what are we going to learn today? First, we'll begin with the introduction to composite transformation. That is, what is composite transformation? Then we'll learn about translation composite transformation. And finally, we'll look at an example of translation composite transformation. All right. So first, introduction to composite transformation. Now, what is composite transformation? We have learned about normal transformation. That is, you perform a transformation operation. What is composite transformation? Basically, more than one transformation is happening and how you can perform them simultaneously or you can combine them. So basically, we can represent any transformation. Let it be translation, let it be scaling, let it be rotation. We can represent it in terms of a matrix, correct? Now, we can form products of the transformation matrix and this product of transformation matrix is known as concretization. That is basically when you are multiplying the matrices or matrices, then the product that is formed, it is known as composition of the matrix. All right. Now, translation composite transformation. So let's say you have more than one transformation. We have already learned about translation transformation, right? If you don't know what is translation transformation, I'll put a link in the description. You can go and check out that video first. Okay. What happens if you have more than one translation transformation? That is, let's say we have got two translation transformation over here. Okay. So let's just use green color. Yeah. So we have got two translation vectors over here, Tx1 and Ty1. That is first one. And then we have got Tx2 and Ty2. Okay, so we have got two translation transformations. Now we can apply it to the original position P so that we can get the new coordinate position P dash like this. So first we'll perform one translation with the original coordinate position and then we'll multiply it like this with the second transformation. Or what you can do is you can perform the translation composition transformation. That is you can multiply these two matrices and then you can finally apply the new matrix to your original coordinate position. So how you do that? We'll look at an example or first we'll just calculate and write in terms of matrix form. Okay. So let's say, yeah. So let's say our first transformation matrix that is translation matrix is going to be like this. We have got one, zero and T X one. Okay. Then we have got zero, one, T Y one and zero, zero, one. So this is our first translation matrix. Okay. Now the second translation matrix is going to be like this. One, zero, T X two, zero, one, T Y two and zero, zero, one. All right. Now when we do matrix multiplication, the final result is going to be like this. One, zero, T X one plus T X two, sorry, T X two, then zero, one, T, T Y one plus T Y two and then zero zero one. So this is how we get the product of these two matrices. Okay. So basically what we are doing is we are getting the product of the two translation transformation and forming a translation composite transformation. So the final new position that is coordinate position P dash is going to be what it is going to be the original coordinate position P multiplied by your translation transformation composite transformation so it's going to be 1 0 t x 1 plus t x 2 and 0 1 t y 1 plus t y 2 and 0 0 1 so once you perform this multiplication factors uh, that is multiplication of this matrices you will get your new coordinate position okay so we'll solve an example to understand it much better Okay, so if you want to write it in short form instead of just matrices, it's going to be like this P dash is equal to P multiplied by your transformation where it's going to be uh, Tx1 plus Tx2 comma Ty1 plus Ty2. All right, so this is your transformation or translation operation. Okay. Now we'll look at an example. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll solve an example and we'll form a translation composite transformation 
matrix okay so let's say let's use the color green over here okay so let's say we have got our line over here ab okay this is our 2d object line ab okay and the coordinate original coordinate positions are 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 1 okay now we want to perform two translation transformations over here so first translation transformation has tx1 comma ty1 okay and it's going to be equal to 1 comma 1 okay and the second translation transformation has tx2 comma ty2 translation vectors okay and they are going to be let's say 2 comma 2 okay now as we have seen we can just add when we want to form a composite transformation in terms of translation we can just add the x translation vectors with each other and y translation vectors with each other that is you can form a new translation vectors tx3 comma ty3 by adding tx1 and tx2 together and ty1 and ty2 together so it's going to be 1 plus 2 is going to be 3 and 1 plus 2 is again going to be 3 okay so we can just achieve the final result by multiplying simply multiplying the original coordinate positions of a and b with the tx3 and ty3 so let's see how we do that. so we have got our p dash for let's say point a okay so for point a coordinate point a we have got our p dash that is new position is going to be p multiplied by tx3 comma ty3 so p dash is going to be original position is 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 and we have to perform translation with tx3 and ty3 it is 3 comma 3 3 comma 3 so p dash for a is going to be 1 plus 3 so it is 4 and 1 plus 3 it is 4 so new a position is going to be 4 comma 4 now similarly for b what is it going to be so for point b it is we have got 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 3 so for point b it is p dash is going to be original position is 2 comma 1 multiplied by 3 comma 3 so p dash for that point b is going to be 2 plus 3 comma 1 plus 3 so p dash is going to be 5 comma 4 so our new position is going to be 4 comma 4 point a dash okay that is new coordinate position for a it is going to be 4 comma 4 and for point b that is b dash it is going to be 5 comma 4 okay so this is how we perform composite translation transformation so instead of performing one one translation transformation you combine those two together and you just perform it once by multiplying it with the translation composite transformation okay so i hope you got this concept if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much so that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching if you have any queries feel free to ask them in the comment section below if you have any suggestions please write them in the comment section below if you like the video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you very much